How are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. Yes, we're back at it again. I tried this out yesterday and oh my god, is it amazing? Because you know, I needed to try it out to make sure it works first. Wow, the difference was huge. In fact, here's a clip of me just sitting on my bed, staring into the distance admiring it. Basically what I did is I tried this through side quest because there's an option to do this straight through side quest without you needing to play around with anything else. However, today I'm going to show you how to do this through your phone in case you don't have a computer and of course how to do it through side quest. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, get your Oculus Quest 2, create yourself a developer account and enable developer mode in the app. If you have not yet done this or you don't know how to do it, check out VR Cauldron's video on how to do it. He's made a great little video and I'm not gonna waste your time showing you how to do this in today's video. So now that my Quest is on, we need to get it plugged in to my computer. However, as I said, you do not technically need a computer for this, but that's the first way I'm going to show you how to do. So, since this is the only cable I own that is USB on one end and USB-C on the other end, we're using my five meter long link cable to connect this to the computer. Yes. Okay. And before we do this, I wanna answer a few questions because I know they're gonna be there. Number one, can you get banned for doing this? I don't think so. This isn't something illegal. This isn't anything that would harm the quest. This isn't anything that is against Facebook's TOS. And technically, you're just making your experience in VR a lot, lot better. Second of all, to all the people saying that resolution doesn't matter and it's the gameplay experience that does. Sure, yeah, okay. Um, well, the gameplay experience does, as a matter of fact, matter, of course. But the difference in clarity is just amazing. When I put this thing on yesterday, Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Like even in the Oculus home, seriously guys. Okay, and of course, number three, will this damage your headset? Well, OpenPC Reviews has actually made a video about that. He's actually made a bunch of different tests on the Oculus Quest 1 and it didn't damage the headset, of course, because he wouldn't have released the mod if it did. However, a lot of you have been telling me you have performance issues with the mod on the Oculus Quest 1. This is the Oculus Quest 2 with the Qualcomm XR2 chip, more RAM and much higher performance. So I can only assume that this mod will be insane on the Oculus Quest 2. Let's begin. It is actually slightly more difficult than it was on the Oculus Quest 1, and it will unfortunately require you inputting commands, especially if you want to do this on the go, because I tried OpenPC Review's new apps. Yes, he's actually made updated resolution apps for the Oculus Quest 1, and unfortunately, they just don't work. They just keep stopping on the Oculus Quest 2, but I bet he's working on something amazing. So for now, I'm going to show you the kind of workaround method, how to do this on the Oculus Quest 2 using side quest using commands and how to use your phone to do it on the go. So let's switch right back to the computer so that I can show you guys how to do this. So first of all, I'm going to change my quest to a horrible resolution just to show you guys what it looks like. We switch over to side quest and as you can see, side quest actually has a bunch of options right here. You see default texture size and you can change it right within side quest using this very, very easily. You just click on it and you're done. However, if you don't have side quest or you want to use ADB commands, I'm going to click into custom command. This is the command that you want to input. I will have this command down in the comment section below. And in here, you input your default texture size. So I'm going to put in 128 just for the meme. And uh, you want to click run command. And then you want to change height to width. And you also want to click run command. And now we put on the Oculus Quest. And uh, I'll show you guys what has happened. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is disgusting. This is, ugh. okay. Look at this. <laughs> so, uh, it's beautiful. And as you can see, I did try running open PC reviews mods. Unfortunately, they do not seem to work here. So, uh, looking through everything, it is, it is horrible. It is disgusting and we don't want it. So now let's switch it back to default. And what you want to do every time you change it is you actually just want to lock your headset and unlock it again. And that's how you kind of get it to begin. Okay. So as you guys can see right here, this is the default resolution. It's okay, it's certainly not bad, and it's certainly a lot better than the Quest 1. However, because of this beautiful pixel density, we can go higher. So if you look over there at the chairs, or actually if you look at the cactuses, that's what they look like. Now, let us switch. So I'm going to switch into 3072, and this is the same if you were using the custom commands. In fact, I'm gonna use the custom commands 3072. 
and run command. And now we lock it and unlock it. Oh yes. Oh, this is amazing. Record video. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. So now if you look at the chairs over there, damn, is that amazing. So as you can see, if you have a computer, it isn't that hard. You can just use SideQuest to do it. However, what happens if you don't have a computer? Because not everybody has a computer. And that became very clear from the previous video I made. Well, I also made a video on how to install custom apps using your phone. So that is APK files. So let's take a look at that. The Oculus Quest 2 does actually come with a USB-C to USB-C cable. So all you do is you connect it to your Android phone, launch Bug Jagger, or I I, I'm not going to try to pronounce that and you connect it to your quest. Now, when you connect it to your quest, a prompt will show up on accepting developer options. So, of course, that's what we need to do on your phone. You want to click allow access to Oculus Quest 2 and just give it access to everything. And it says device no serial connected. So now you jump into your quest. You accept the prompt that has shown up. Allow USB debugging. So I'm going to click allow allow access to data and boom. So now we have it connected to my phone. It says unauthorized, but we don't care. So once you have it in here, you are pretty much ready to go. You want to click on this little terminal in the bottom right, and you want to enter the exact same command that we entered in SideQuest. Oh yeah, you don't put in the ADB in, uh, in these commands. So we remove both of those. Okay, that was set. And now we do the same thing with the wit. So W I D T H. We remove the ADB shell at the beginning because we are already in the interactive shell and we send it. And now let's take a look at the headset, shall we? Oh, wow. This is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous. This is just bad. This is <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't function like this off. Go away. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it with a much nicer resolution. I'm not going to jump straight to 3072. I'm actually going to give this thing a nice chance at quality gaming. So I'm going to jump to 2560. So removing ADB shell at the beginning, I will set that yet again, send. And now let's take a look at our headset. There we go. This is what I like to see. Yes. Looking good. Pretty damn cool. And 90 hertz is still working because I can feel how smooth it is. So that's that. That's how you can increase the resolution of your Oculus Quest 2, either on the go using your phone or using your computer. And of course, it would be the same for MacBook using SideQuest. Now, I know this isn't ideal whatsoever. However, it does improve the resolution on the Oculus Quest 2 even further than it has already improved. And it makes your gaming experience that little bit more realistic. Because even in Oculus Home, when you see those chairs in 3072, it is absolutely amazing. So. Do I recommend trying this out? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, absolutely. Check out a few games. I haven't done that yet, so we need to see how they run, if they lag, if they don't lag. The Quest itself doesn't seem to be overheating at all, and uh, it does have active cooling, so we should be good on that end. So I will be doing some rigorous testing on this, and I will be getting back to you guys through Discord, and I will be getting back to you guys through YouTube, and we are going to see how this works, because as you guys know, I loved the previous resolution mod, and therefore we are checking it out yet again. And hopefully Open PC Reviews is working on some quality apps for us, for the Oculus Quest 2. But for now, at least you guys have a way to do this on the go using your phone. You just need to have that command stored somewhere, maybe in a notes app or anywhere. And then you just connect your Quest to your phone, run the command and you're set. Or just never turn off your headset and put it to sleep even though that's not a very good idea. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you didn't, well, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to be notified about future content, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you want to become part of the club, make sure to join the Discord in the description below. We are super close to 20,000 subscribers. This is amazing, guys. We also have a Reddit down there, so make sure to join that. Post your spicy memes. I love seeing those. And if this kind of content floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. Hey, what's up? We're back at it again. <laughs> I was about to do the old intro. We can't do that. We can't have that. For example, 25 megabits per second video recording, 50 megabytes per second video recording, 80 megabits. Why would you want 80?